Hey there everyone. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you six awesome internet tricks that you should be using. These tricks are sure to help you save time, stay organized, and get the most out of your online experience. So without further ado, let's dive in. Number one, use Google as a timer. Google Timer is a simple trick that allows you to set a timer using the Google search engine. This means you don't need to download a separate timer app or use a physical timer to keep track of time. To use Google as a timer, simply go to the Google search engine and type set timer in the search bar. A timer interface will appear in the search result, allowing you to set the amount of time you want to count down for. You can enter the amount of time in minutes and seconds or use the preset timer options. Once you've set the timer, click the start button to begin counting down. A countdown timer will appear on the screen and will beep when the time is up. You can also pause or reset the timer as needed. This trick is useful for a variety of purposes, such as timing your workout, cooking or baking, or timing a presentation. It's also convenient because it's easily accessible from any device with an internet connection and a web browser. This is a quick and easy way to set a timer without needing to download an app or use a separate device. Number two, search operators. Search operators are special symbols and words that you can use to refine your search results and get more accurate and targeted information. Here are some examples of search operators that you can use in most search engines. Site. The site operator allows you to search for results from a specific website. For example, if you wanted to find information about artificial intelligence on the website wired.com, you could type artificial intelligence site wired.com into the search bar and you will get information related to artificial intelligence available on the site wired.com. In title. The in title operator allows you to search for pages with a specific word or phrase in the title. For example, if you wanted to find pages with best laptops in the title, you could type in title S laptops into the search bar and it will return pages that contains best laptops in the title file type. The file type operator allows you to search for specific file types. For example, if you were looking for a PDF document about climate change, you could type climate change file type PDF into the search bar and it will return PDF files related. The related operator allows you to search for pages that are related to a specific website. For example, if you wanted to find websites that are similar to wired.com, you could type related wired.com into the search bar and it will return websites related to wired.com or the OR operator allows you to search for pages that contain either one term or another. For example, if you wanted to find pages that contained either coffee or tea, you could type coffee or tea into the search bar and it will return pages about coffee or tea. Minus. The minus operator allows you to exclude certain terms from your search results. For example, if you wanted to find pages about dogs but not about poodles, you could type dogs minus poodles into the search bar. These search operators can be combined to create more complex and specific search queries. By using search operators, you can get more targeted and relevant search results, which can save you time and effort in your online research. Number three, keyboard shortcuts. Using keyboard shortcuts is a fast and efficient way to perform various tasks on a computer. Here are some of the most common keyboard shortcuts and their uses. Control plus T, open a new tab. Control plus Shift plus T. Reopen the last closed tab. Control plus W. Close the current tab. Control plus Tab. Switch to the next tab. Control plus Shift plus Tab. Switch to the previous tab. Control plus D. Bookmark the current page. Control plus Shift plus Delete. Open the clear browsing data dialog box. Control plus plus Zoom in. Control plus minus. Zoom out. Control plus zero. Reset zoom level to 100%. F5 or Control plus R. Refresh the current page. Control plus L or F6. Move the cursor to the address bar. Control plus E. Move the cursor to the search bar. Control plus Shift plus N. Open a new incognito window on Chrome or private browsing window on Firefox. Number four. Edit any website like it's a Word document directly from your browser. When it comes to browsing the web, sometimes we come across a website that doesn't quite meet our need. Maybe the text is too small, the font is hard to read, or there are errors or outdated information. What if you could edit any website just like you would edit a Word document? 
Here's how to use JavaScript to edit the content of a website. 1. Open your web browser and navigate to the website you want to modify. 2. Click on the address bar at the top of your browser window where the website URL is displayed. 3. Type the following JavaScript code into the address bar. 4. Hit the Enter key on your keyboard to execute the code. This will activate the browser's built-in editing tools, allowing you to edit any text on the website, including headers, paragraphs, and buttons. 5. You can now start to modify the website's content. 6. Once you've made your modifications, you can take a screenshot of the edited web page or save it as an HTML file. While this trick is a fun way to modify a website, it's important to note that the changes you make are only visible on your local computer and will not be saved on the original website. Additionally, not all websites can be edited in this way, as some may have security measures or use complex coding that prevents changes. Number 5. Wayback Machine The Wayback Machine is an online digital archive that allows users to access a vast collection of web pages that have been saved over time. This powerful tool is operated by the Internet Archive, a nonprofit organization dedicated to preserving online content for future generations. Here's how you can use the Wayback Machine. Visit the Wayback Machine website. Go to archive.org and you'll be presented with a simple search box. Enter the URL of the website you want to view. Make sure to include the entire URL, including the HTTP or HTTPS prefix. Choose a date. After entering the URL, you will see a calendar with dates that show when the website was saved by the Wayback Machine. Select a date from the calendar to view the website as it appeared on that day. Browse the website. Once you've selected a date, you can browse the website just as you would on a live website. You can click on links and navigate through the website as it appeared on the selected date. Use the Wayback Machine toolbar. The Wayback Machine also provides a toolbar that you can use to navigate the archived website more easily. The toolbar allows you to jump to different dates view specific pages on the website, and even take a screenshot of the current page. Not all websites are archived. While the Wayback Machine has archived a vast number of web pages, it's not a comprehensive archive of the entire internet. Some websites may not have been archived, or certain pages may be missing. Some features may not work. Because the archived website is a snapshot of how it appeared on a specific date, some interactive features such as forms or search boxes may not work as intended. Overall, the Wayback Machine is a powerful tool that can be used to access a vast collection of historical web pages. By following the steps outlined above, you can explore the evolution of your favorite websites over time and gain a deeper understanding of how the internet has evolved. Number 6. Grouping Tabs Tab groups are a feature available in some web browsers such as Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge that allow you to organize your tabs into groups. This can be particularly useful if you have a large number of tabs opened at the same time and want to keep them organized and easy to navigate. Here are some benefits and tips for using tab groups. Better organization. With tab groups, you can group related tabs together, such as tabs for work-related tasks, social media, or shopping. This can help you keep track of what you're working on and reduce clutter in your browser. Improved productivity. Tab groups can help you work more efficiently by allowing you to switch between related tabs quickly. For example, if you're working on a research project, you can group all of your research tabs together and switch between them easily. Easy customization. Tab groups can be customized to suit your need. You can give each group a different name or color and add or remove tabs as needed. Keyboard shortcuts. Many web browsers have keyboard shortcuts for creating, switching between, and closing tab groups. This can save you time and make it easier to navigate your tabs. To use tab groups first, make sure your web browser supports the feature. In Google Chrome, for example, you can create a tab group by right-clicking on a tab and selecting Add to New Group. You can then give the group a name and color. To add more tabs to the group, simply drag and drop them onto the Group tab. To switch between groups, click on the Group tab or use the keyboard shortcut. Tab groups can be a powerful tool for organizing your web browsing and improving your productivity. By grouping related tabs together, you can stay focused on your work and reduce distractions. And there you have it, six awesome internet tricks that you should be using. I hope you found these tips helpful and that they'll make your online experience more productive and enjoyable. Remember, 
There are many more internet tricks out there, so keep exploring and learning to get the most out of your time online. If you have any other internet tricks that you love to use, be sure to share them in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more great content. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.